Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. I have received many requests to show people how to downgrade to Windows XP. To downgrade to Windows XP, my recommendation would be to install Windows XP. Before we start the process, you need to download the Windows XP drivers and burn them onto a disk or save them on a pen drive. Also, back up your personal files. Now, I would recommend you to also back up the Windows 7 drivers. The link is in the description box. So that way, just in case you change your mind, you can always go back to Windows 7 and then reinstall the drivers. The last thing you need is a Windows XP disk. Now, place the disk inside the drive and then restart the computer. When it restarts, it should ask you, press any key to boot from the CD. Press the Enter key. Now, if this doesn't show up, I have a link in the description box that shows you how to set your CD or DVD to be the first boot device in the BIOS and then you should be able to see it when you save and restart. In this process you should be able to see the press F8 to agree to the license terms and conditions. Once you press F8 the setup window will appear. Now here it's very simple just follow the steps above. This is why you need it to back up all your information because you're going to delete your drive C which is your hard drive. Now ignore anything else that is not your partition NTFS. Here press enter to continue and then press L. This is a reason why you needed to do a backup. When you press L now you're gonna have an unpartitioned space where you had your drive C or your hard drive. All you need to do is press enter. Now here select partition using the NTFS quick. So press the up arrow and then press enter. And that's it. The installation process is uh, very simple but I'm still gonna leave it here so you can see it. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. The computer within the installation process will restart many times. Now when it asks you to press any key to boot from the CD, do not press enter or any key at all. Just let it run. Now in the installation process it's going to ask you to um, type the uh, Windows XP product key, your name, computer name. From here on it's relatively simple. Just fill, up, fill in the blanks. Select your time zone, in this case Eastern Time. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit too. but I'm going to leave it here so you can look at the process. Perfect. Remember, don't press enter when it asks you to press any key to boot from the CD. Click OK. Click OK again. You don't have any other choice, right? Now here, click on Next. You can select to uh, protect your PC. I'm going to select not right now for this tutorial and click next. Now here you can let it run or just skip it however you like. I'm gonna select no and then you can click on next or skip if you want. Um, I'm gonna select no not at this time I don't want to register at this time but you can select yes if you want to. 
click on next type your name and then click on next and finish the wizard Windows XP brings a lot of memories man I completely understand why uh, people would like to downgrade to Windows XP I mean this is great a great operating system thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you